Zoom meeting. Um, it was just one of those coffee chats, introduction meetings, because we found out. She said, well, you know, I've been following you for a while across social media, but I just realized that we live in the same state. She's really a great consultant. She's has, she has such a heart uh, for what she's doing. She actually, okay, here's a couple things. She didn't realize this, but um, she started her business at the, at the beginning of the pandemic. And I kept, if you follow me, you know, I've said this a lot. I said, this is, there's always a great time to start your business, but because of the pandemic and all of the challenges that we've been facing, this is a public health crisis. So this is an opportunity for those of you who have been thinking about consulting or who have that entrepreneurial spirit to really stand out and address some of these challenges that organizations are facing around the country, around the world, because they are, there's a need for public health experts. And if we don't step up and do it, other industries will gladly do it and use their own interpretation of public health in the mix. So why not, if you're already, you know, really thinking about it, why not, you know, address the fears or the issues or whatever holds you back and just step out and do it because there is such a great need. I worked with someone, I'm going to come back to Ms. Brown's example in a second here, but I worked with someone about a year ago, almost a year ago, and we were talking about an idea for business and she wanted to address to be the consultant that could help go into the school systems and help uh, address some of the challenges that they were dealing with, with kids returning back to school and designing policies and all the things. And I, I kept encouraging her, this is a wonderful idea because there's such a need, but she was afraid to, to step in that direction. Um, I'm not knocking her, okay, because fear is real and, and it's scary to step outside of and do something different than what you've always done, even if you really want to do it. But I really felt strongly about this. and I knew it was a great opportunity to show up in a place where, where people need public health professional expertise and guidance. Um, at any rate, she never did pursue that business idea. And I often thought about that, what would happen. So in my conversation this morning, talking with Miss Brown, we're getting to know her. A fun fact, we're actually not only in the same state, we're literally in the same city, like one town over from each other. So I'm sure there's going to be a coffee date, face-to-face -face coffee date uh, pretty soon. So we're we're talking and, and you know, I, I'm like, tell me what you do. I want to know about your business. And she started to talk about this. And She's literally operating in a business that I just described that I, you know, was hoping my my client from last year would step out into. But that's what she's doing. She's serving in a way that supports the schools. And she started like right where she is. And I wrote this down because it touched me so much. I was like, well, she said my first client was great. And she said, I just got to a point. Uh, she had worked in, in a government organization for a long time. She had a lot of experience. She knew she wanted to do something different. She was kind of like on the fence. She got encouragement from her husband. He was like, you know, you just need to step out and do it. And the pandemic really exposed something, triggered something for her in a way that she really knew she needed to have an impact and, and, and give more. Like she knew she had something greater to give in a way that she could serve. So she said, um, as we talking about her first client, she said she just really went up to the school and, and asked, can I help you? Like she identified, I'm a public health professional. This is my expertise in my area. You know, can I help you? And their response was, you know, God must have sent you. It really and truly can be that simple. If you take action, like you are the public health professional, you have the expertise, you have the ability to sift through and understand what needs to happen and help these organizations, whether it's the school system or whatever industry. The pandemic has touched every single industry that you could imagine. So there's an opportunity for you to serve and spread your wings and be that liaison. Maybe you are going to connect the larger public health organizations with the private industry, smaller private industry group. Maybe you're the one that is the person that can connect those in a way that they couldn't connect without you being present. Your perspective is needed. Um, I, I could go on and on and on, but that is the benefit of being bringing entrepreneurship and public health together. And that is a lot of what this expo is all about being able to spread your wings, you know, see these examples, be inspired and think creatively and bounce those ideas around people within your community. So um, it was, it was so exciting for me to meet her this morning. Um, I see her on a future pa uh, panel of the expo. Maybe I'm just saying. 